book. In one way, we shift focus from this morning is that I am not at all concerned with Jewish usury, neither as it was debated within the Jewish community. I presented my recent book called The Peril and Promise of Credit, which is was published by Princeton University Press in February this month, this year in 2019. And it is about uh, views that Christian had of Jewish credit, and in particular of how during the time of the expansion of the paper economy of financialization in the 17th century, there was a new imagination about how the Jewish user as a stereotype could function as a way of curbing some of the anxieties created by the increased circulation of credit. So one of the principal ways through which I brought this book back from oblivion is through the use of digital resources. I previously wrote a book on Sephardic Jewish merchants in Livorno, in the Tuscan port in the Mediterranean, and uh, so I was interested in you know, the organization of Jewish trade and the relationship between a Jewish minority and a Christian majority. I'm also interested as an economic historian in how in the pre-modern period, both uh, public and public, uh, private and public authorities regulated uh, credit and some of the echoes of contemporary problems we have today uh, existed in the past. And then there was an element of serendipity because I came across a passage in a famous book that I know a lot of scholars have read and nobody had ever um, deciphered before, a passage that uh, is uh, false and puzzling and makes little sense. And as I said, is a passage that uh, claims that medieval Jews expelled from France invented marine insurance and bills of exchange, which are the two most important instruments of private finance in the pre-modern, pre-industrial period. And I just got hooked, as they say, and I just couldn't let go until I understood where this idea came from, what it meant, and how widely, incredibly widely, it was disseminated. And it took until the 20th century to put that uh, prejudicial idea to rest. So much of the book is an attempt to, to decipher what uh, stealing a successful historiographical label. Well, it's the first time I am uh, in this marvelous building, an interesting institution. I have very close ties to French academia from, uh, I was trained in Italy first and I spent quite a lot of time in conversations with uh, French scholars. I know the person who is currently, uh, uh, you know, here in residence and I've, uh, long you know visited a number of other institutions of uh, french high learning and culture uh, outside of france and so i was delighted to have the opportunity to visit this particular center in jerusalem this time something else it was a beautiful day <laughs>